Hi, it's Lala Flower Girl here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about High Realms. It's a new game that's in the testing stage of development. Super excited about this, and I believe that most of you are OG Islanders will know about this. Before I get started, if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. As I just said, High Realms is a DV creation. He's got his development team, and it's inspired by Islands and High Pixel. You know we all miss islands and we absolutely loved it so dv was has been so amazing to actually get on this and make this for us so he asked the community if we would like him to make it and we said yes please so i've taken some screenshots from dv's te teaser video which you can check out on his channel and if you haven't subscribed to him please do because he, he does some great great stuff for the um roblox community for sure Show you, I'm going to show you some of the things that we can look forward to and give my thoughts on what I've seen so far. Okay, so in this first one, you can see it's a picture of a starter island, which is similar to both islands and high pixel. So I have not played high pixel, so my knowledge on that is limited to a few quick videos. I watched to see the starter island and the textures, and they're very similar. Okay, so in this next picture, we've got a standard portal. I believe this is the one that you get when you start, which is really cool. I actually quite like this one. I might not even change it. All right, can you guess why I might like that one? <laughs> All right, in this next picture, we can see the hub. Looks absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to explore and find any secrets. And yes, there are heck of secrets in High Realms. So it's gonna be awesome to get in there and have a look around. So in this next picture, you will find that in the hub, there are merchant NPCs. So Moola, this is Moola. She is the seed merchant and you will need to unlock the seed levels to get those crops and they will be a great resource and give you lots of income to start with. So you'll be, I believe you'll be able to, yeah, buy and sell so that's really cool okay our next merchant is Gideon now Gideon is a block merchant so you'll be able to buy all the different kinds of blocks here so you'll have the option of buying or you can collect resources to craft for yourself if you like that type of play style and on to oh there's the blocks and on to this is Helena Helena is the blacksmith where you can purchase weapons and tools so these look really cool and again you'll have to upgrade your uh, skills and masteries as such to unlock them and now we have Oberon Oberon's the underling merchant it's gonna be a very popular little magician I think that he um, creates the underlings and you need to unlock them with your skills I think and I don't know if there's gonna be like like basic ones more advanced ones that you can upgrade to like but they're gonna be our pretty much our totems with personality so I like them I think they're gonna be such a great addition to this and so there are underlings right there so there's lots of different options it's gonna be so cool to try and get all of them going and see what see what they look like see what their animations are like and and what kind of interactions you have with them that'll be really cool Okay, so on to this one, we have the forest area. And if I recall correctly, DV said they're going to expand on this quite a bit. So I look forward to seeing that and exploring and I wonder what secrets are lurking deep in the forest. So here you can gather resources such as wood, clay and flowers for dyes. And then you can like craft and create different colored blocks and stuff like that. So you will also need to um, gather resources but so there's the dyes and the colored blocks and stuff so you'll need to gather resources to make storage because your backpack is just basic it doesn't have a lot of storage in it and then we have our masteries you're going to have to get um, actually build up your masteries which you can do while you're out gathering resources and doing combat and crops and everything like that so you get all different mastery so I'm looking forward to that 
and out here in the forest you get to play with slimes so they're kind of cute in my opinion but I still think that they will bite you really hard if you <laughs> if you let them so and while you're out there exploring you're gonna do quests as well so you're gonna get quests straight away so there you go and we'll go on and next here is the mine so the mines entrance looks absolutely amazing I think that is so cool like so cool and inside the mines you're gonna have lots of different blocks that you can get and there are also these little guardians inside so you've got a mix of gathering resources and combat to keep us on our toes I love that now some of the more advanced settings are the portal skins and the skies these are so amazing and I cannot wait to experiment with these These look so good and here we have the ancient portal we have a flower portal we have a pink sky and we have a green jungle sky which they're all so amazing and so awesome I cannot wait to experiment with these and I can just see that they're gonna have so many more options to add in so they'll be able to just create different different ones I'm sure they've got some some ideas in that already and also if you haven't joined the high realms discord this is the the link to the discord here and I highly recommend you do that so that you don't miss out on any teasers and information and early access to opportunities to the game so yeah keep your eye out in the um, discord for that so now it's just a matter of waiting for the game to be released so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching I will see you next time